Hi, welcome back. On this video, we're going to be concentrating on making our application a little bit more secure by encrypting the passwords that users type in this field. Now, if you if you think about it, we're already making this secure here. We're making this field secure against database statements, SQL statements. So if for some reason the user comes in here and says, you know what, I don't want to insert anything into his database. I want to find out the username and password of the users. I want to find out their information. They're going to come here, put a software to scan this page and input thousands and thousands of usernames and password every second. All right? They will find out your password, even if it's something that has a couple characters. And if it's not a password like this, the hacker will find out your password. So now we know that users are not going to type these passwords this long, right? With all these different characters. It's almost impossible to do that unless you have a password management software. So we are going to make the password this long. And we're going to make the password with numbers and symbols for the user. Now, we are not going to change their password. Don't get me wrong. They will still have a password like this. But when it goes into our system, it's going to be really long password. It's going to be a really long password. It's going to be longer than this with numbers and symbols. All right? It's not going to change theirs. It's just going to reference that file. Now, that, that well, that record. Now, if you see here, we have a problem. Our passwords, when we encrypt, it's going to be longer than this, as a matter of fact. Right now, we cannot go over certain characters here. I believe it's 32 characters. We need to change this field to go to over 22 characters or 32 characters. So let's go ahead and go and click on Structure. We are in the Users table right here in the Logging App database, Users table, Structure. Then we're going to change this by clicking here, Change. We're going to change this to 200. Why 200? Eh, that's just a number that I wanted, you know, wanted to use. You can use 100 if you want, but 200 I think is a good number. <laughs> just just click save, and now we're good to go. So, what do we want to do? So the first thing that you should know is that we will be using a function called crypt. This is the page right here, the manual, so you can come and read it. Now, using crypt, the crypt function, just along, along with the, just the password, will create a combination of characters. So it will encrypt it, but then it will create something really weak. All right, and we don't want to do that. So we want to create something actually stronger. So we need to use another parameter called the salt. Now, this would be any type of string uh, that equals to a certain amount of characters, and, and we will see that when we are building it. But know that the major function that we will be using is script. And you can pass it a different parameters just to make it stronger. Now they have different terms here for this type of um, format. We're going to be using this here called Blowfish, and this is the format, right? This is a hash format that we will be using, and they change, all right? And you will see that if if you go down here a little bit, you will see that the format, the standard DES, all right has our RL hash format here. If you use that, then you will create a re different result than if you use this format. And this format here, which is dollar sign one and dollar sign. We will be using this one here, dollar sign two, a dollar sign zero, seven dollar sign. All right? So you just know that. And this will be the result. As you can see here, the standard DES will produce a password this short here with different, um, with numbers and dots and letters and this one will produce this and the MD5 is the one that is very common commonly used now we are now that we are in a different PHP version as a matter of fact let me show you how to look into that right now in this video here localhost click on that go to PHP info and you can see that we are in 5.6.3 version of PHP that's what we're using the newer version uh, by the time you're watching this, you're probably using another version, but we are using a newer, newer API than the, the one from before. And MD5 was very commonly used, still commonly used in a lot of WordPress sites. Now, we will be using Blowfish, which is a lot longer than that, as you can say, you can tell. All right. The government, I believe the government is using this one right now. And this, look at this one. This is crazy. This will extend the screen, the SHA-512. Right, so let's go ahead and start using this right away. So let's go to our function. My SQL under 
remember that we are under MySQL directory and then functions. All right. So this first thing that we will create is the hash formats. Let's do that. Let's create this hash and let's call it format. All right. And the hash format that we will be using is the show you right here the 2y actually this is the most secure right now right here and 5.3.7 and later should use the 2y so let's use that instead of the 2a all right and I just know this because I read some of the, this documentation and we got to use it with some numbers after it and just to tell it how many times it will run all right, so let's go ahead and use that. And then just put, we were supposed to put seven, but I know that we need to put 10 because, or more, since this will tell this hash format how many times, uh, tell the crypt function how many times it will run the hash. So this will change. This will be like a lottery type of system where you will put a number and they will, all, all the balls will go around certain times, right, for a certain amount of minutes. And then you will get a different result every time you, you get a ball. Well, this will be very similar to that. This will run. Every time it runs, it will create a different result for the hash. And right now, it's going to run 10 times. All right. And let's go ahead and create the salt. And this could be any amount any um, amount of strings you want. Right. So you can create. Actually, as a matter of fact, there has to be at least 22 characters. All right. So the salt is a string. It could be anything you want, but it has to be a at least 22 characters. And I'm going to use something that I know that will work. So I use some crazy strings. This is something I made up. 22. I think this is 22 characters. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and 22. All right? Now, we will need we need to put both of these together to pass it into the crypt function. And I'm just going to say hash and salt. It's actually hash format and salt, but I'm just going to put a little F there. I don't want to make this too big. And I'm just going to put hash. And I'm going to concatenate both of them together. All right, this is just going to make it really extra secure when we pass it into the crypt function. And now we will pass it in and we will say something like encrypt. And you can put whatever you want. I'm just making this up, this variable here, because I'm going to use it with the function crypt. All right. And then we pass it in the password. This is the password that the user is going to be typing. So we pass it in, pass this in first. This is the first parameter this function is going to take. And then we pass in the hash and salt right here. All right. Perfect. Then we're done with this. All right. So this will do that. Now, this, okay. So we, let's just go ahead and rename this to password because we will be using it right here. So if we don't have this username. Is When it comes down, it's not going to find this password there. It's just going to type. It's just going to keep going with this. We need to rename. And remember, this goes from the top to bottom. So when he finds this variable here, he's going to put it in here. Okay? So this, I think we're done here. All right, we don't need to do anything else. We are escaping the SQL. And then we are encrypting that password that comes from there and later put it in here so that's gonna work really good so now I think we're good to go so let's go to our create so we make sure that we have the all right so we are good here in the database with 200 characters here let's just refresh this a little bit all right and let's just type in I don't know my username Edwin Diaz and I'm just gonna type one two and three create record created let's go and look in the database and see what happened Actually, we need to go to the users. Look at this. I just typed one, two, and three. And look at the type of password we got on the other side. Isn't that beautiful? Huh? This is beautiful, isn't it? So we did go over the characters here. 
all right and as you can see here we made our, this password a lot longer we can use more characters if we go here and we use the, the SHA I think it was all the way down was it are we in the right place yes we are give me one second right here we could use the SHA if we wanted to we can just it just does some extra uh, steps here but I'm not gonna use that in this one here I think we are good with this one this is actually the best one since it's really slow so it's gonna take that that software have to wait until we start <laughs> it processes this uh, password here so you see that 10 times that we run it to it, it, it that's why it's low because it has to go and run it 10 times to change that one two and three and that software if we if we do this one time that would be very quickly for the hacker software to to uh, check on this field but we make it 10 times harder for them basically we make it impossible with this format here all right so anyway I hope you learn how to encrypt passwords um, if you did not for some reason get this make sure you rewind the video and watch it a couple of times I'm pretty sure you will get it all right so anyway thank you so much for watching hopefully this will make your application and I know it will make your applications a lot more secure again I'll see you in the next lecture take care